guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. In Windows Mobile, you can use Remote Desktop to actually connect to your home computer or your laptop or any computer that's connected and set up properly so that you can control your computer remotely whether you want to control media playback or you want to access a file or you want to check your email or anything like that. Uh, the procedure is several steps long, which is why we made this tutorial video showing you how to go about setting up Remote Desktop. Um, the first thing that we need to do is go to our computer and uh, change some settings in the router so that we can connect to the computer. Um, now, if you do not have Remote Desktop built into your device, I'll post a link on pocketnow.com on how to get to it, although a lot of devices now come with Remote Desktop, so, um, so you should have it. Now, if you are over a router, you will have to set up port forwarding, and it's a multi-step process, but it's pretty easy, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. The first thing you want to do is find out what your local IP address is, and uh, the way that you can do that is quite simply by going to Start, and if you are on a Vista, you just type CMD. Or if you are on XP, you go to Run and you type CMD. And here we will get the kind of uh, DOS style pop-up box. You're going to want to type ipconfig right now and press Enter. And what you're going to get, if you scroll up a little bit, is your IP4 address, which is your local IP address. So here I am, 192.168.1.5. And you just want to remember that last number, the .5. So you close that, and then you go into your web browser, and then you type the IP address of your router, which is pretty much always 192.168.1.1. And once logged in, you want to go to the left side of the screen here where it says port forwarding. Of course, this is for a Netgear uh, router, but if you use Linksys or D-Link, it's going to look some, somewhat the same. Look for where it says port forwarding. If you need, tr if you need help getting into your router, if you don't know the username, name, and password, just Google for the default username and password for your particular router. Usually the username is admin and the password is password unless you've changed it. So here we are in port forwarding and I want to add a new service uh, for remote desktop. So I'm going to click add service. I'm going to put the server IP address as my local IP address. So it's 192.168.1.5. Um, we're going to call this remote desktop. And the starting port will be 3389, and the ending port will also be 3389. And you are all set with the port ready to be forwarded um, so that you can use remote desktop. So now we're ready to go back to the device. All right, and it's time to test it out, see if it works. So what you need to do now is enter, when it says computer, you put your IP address. If you don't know your IP address, just go to whatismyipaddress.com. It's uh, several digits long, and you just type it right into the box. So I'm going to type my IP address and see it work. Now there is a setting that you want to use that I found to be the most effective. If you go into options here, um, 256 colors allows the, uh, the the connection to work the quickest. You want to go to full screen and you want to have uh, the remote desktop fit the screen. So it's actually going to scale your desktop down to the size of your mobile device. So in the case of the Touch HD, we get an 800 by 480 um, resolution. Or if you have a VGA device like the Touch Pro, it'll go to 480 by 640. And over in resources, um, you can mute the sound on your desktop computer, or you can actually have it come through the device, and you can hear audio right on your mobile device. Okay, so here we are connected to my home computer, and it works just as if you were sitting right there. Uh, the visuals aren't very pretty, but that's because we have the color scaled down, so it works a little faster. So we can go into Start, we can launch programs as if we were sitting right in front of our computer, use Word, we can open up files, read files. So pretty cool, uh, and, and, and actually pretty full functionality, which is kind of surprising considering that um, you know, you're know you using this over your mobile device. So that is the tutorial on how to get remote desktop working in Windows Mobile. It's a great feature to have, and it's great to have it set up so that if you need it one day, you have it. Again, I'll post links on pocketnow.com on how to get remote desktop the program if you can't find it on your device um, as it came from the factory. So that is it for now.